Hi everyone. So this is Sandeep Anand, and uh, I am based at Pune, India. For the next couple, I mean for next 20 minutes, we will be talking about Zenata, uh, Zenata server as in, and using Zenata server with Python client. So Python client is is a community project, and Python cli client is a uh, client which is purely written in Python. We can contribute to it, and my motive is only to describe how we can contribute into Python client to make it better what it is so let's have a look at what is zanata exactly so can i have a quick survey like uh, do anybody here know zanata or heard about the okay, yeah. okay fine <laughs> you are using zanata or no i work on the open project so i yes. work with carlos okay 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 fine <laughs> cool so uh, zanata is a translation management framework i mean translation management platform web based platform where we actually push all the translations get them translated and pull them back to our software uh, translate.zenata.org is the link for all available users all project managers i mean uh, all package managers who actually uh, they can actually create a login over here and have an account and uh, use that account to localize their project other instances are fedora.zenata.org where all fedora projects are being pointed second is translate.openstack.org this is the dedicated instance for openstack and actually it contains the automation for pull and push thing through jirit the third is translate.jboss.org and uh, uh, this this is the dedicated instance for jboss project uh, you can catch any of the members from Zanata at IRC. The channel is hash Zanata or write to dev, uh, Zanata Devil or Zanata Bugs if you have any. So these are two points where you can have all your concerns sorted out. Now uh, these are three important links. If you are interested, you can take them down. And uh, the first is code. Everything is available at GitHub slash Zanata. Uh, second is docs. All the docs are at uh, uh, here itself. Like they are these are redirect URLs for readme docs. So docs not zanata dot org slash release and everything. Uh, REST API zanata REST API documentation is at cloudbees because zanata team uses cloudbees for their CI thing. Uh, issues for issues we have uh, Jira configured at this link. So if you found any of the issues or anything. Uh, you can you can create a ticket over this link and we are there who are working at the back end of that and we'll uh, take that tickets so now in the pres uh, now for the next 10 to 15 minutes i'll be showing entirely how we can interact with uh, zanata using python client in server side we'll look for how we can create projects languages glossary user settings and project settings in the client sites, we have two clients. First is Zanata CLI and second is Zanata Python client. Zanata CLI is written in Java and major primarily it is used by projects which are in Java. And Python clients are the Python client is a client which is being used by Fedora guys uh, for Fedora infrastructure and all and OpenStack as well. So uh, in python client we'll see how we can push the templates to server how we can translate them pull them back and how we can see the stats so let's uh, go back to the demo thing first uh, this is translate.zanata.org the home page of zanata server which everyone can use and here you can log in uh, you can use a Fedora ID, Google ID, Yahoo ID, or Open ID, and this is the login username and password thing. You can sign up also. Sign up just required one or two details, and it will send an email. Email verification is required, and then you will have an account in Zanata. Now, uh, this is my instance of Zanata, and I do have one username, SCMAN. This is my IRC nick and password. So, let's get in. So at the top we have certain links like projects, groups, languages, glossary and help. 
Could you perhaps make the fonts a little bit larger? Yeah, sure. Is that okay for you? Okay. So, uh, in projects, it will be showing all the projects here itself in the list. We have just one project, uh, ZPC demo. This is the description of the project, creation date and status as active. The second link is languages. Here we have the list of all the languages which are enabled for this entire instance. Uh, here the lists are displayed for entire instance. This is not project basis. This is glossary tab. Uh, currently we don't have any glossary at all for this instance. And uh, if we select any language, we can create glossaries per language basis. So this will be global space for the glo glossaries, which will be available for all the projects within this instance. now let's get to the user's dashboard so this is the dashboard which is presented to user uh, it has some activities log projects there itself and this setting this setting is for user setting here we have certain things like email password and all and uh, the important thing here is a client sorry can you see this yeah so uh, we need a API key to get it interacted with Zanata. So once we click on this uh, button, API key is being generated. And this is the configuration we need to have uh, in our uh, client's configuration. So for any of the client, maybe a Java client or Python client, we need two things. First, user setting, this values. And second, project settings. So user settings is a must have for a client. Now let's get to projects. Uh, this is project setting tab in general it has some general uh, parameters this is important thing uh, this is project types which are being supported in Zanata as of now so first is file the plain text which is used for LibreOffice and InDesign HTML subtitles second is get text it is for the projects which have just one get text file or a uh, uh, which have PO files as in not on which are not categorized under the subdirectories of locale in the name of locale so third is PODIR mostly it is for publican projects fourth is properties for Java project files UTF-8 properties XLIF and y, XML yeah actually we are working to extend this support to many other languages as well this is the home page this is the uh, repository URL you can make this project read only or delete that project itself the second important part is languages so languages is this is per project basis languages so that was global space this is uh, local space to this project Hindi, Malay and Tamil two for Singapore and one for India is enabled for this uh, project as of now rest, rest of the languages are disabled like ENUs, you can create aliases also. Aliases means like suppose, <coughs> sorry, suppose uh, you are working in, you are working for some language for Malay in Singapore. So its code would be MS hyphen SG. But uh, in your project, you are keeping the code as MS only. So you can create an alias like MS, which will be mapped to MS SG. So at server you will be having msg but at your client end you will be having ms only that will be mapped and taken care of automatically in the client. So this is how we can disable or enable any la language. So disabling and enabling any language in a project depends upon 
it has been activated for entire instance or not these are validation part uh, these are the settings for validating your translations and more of a translator's job thing these are permissions tab webooks is an important personality suppose you want to, like you should have a notification when a document is fully translated so you can configure webook you can add a webook and the url you will uh, mention here the url will be accepting the post thing from server that this document is completed and done for the translation now i think we we are good to start with python client so if you guys have any question regarding zanata you can uh, please ask or we can switch to python client no no Okay. Sure. So, this these are the commands. Okay. Is it visible? Okay. These are the commands which is available in Python client as of now. The first is help. Obviously, help will show this list. In it, in it is a command. which is for the people who are my i mean which are newbie to this python client they can get started quickly uh third is list this will list all available projects for the zanata instance you are pointing to fourth is project info version info this is just information part create a uh, project and version next is push and pull actually public and pull and public and push po pull and po push these four commands are deprecated because the functionality are we have inbuilt those functionality in push and pull itself so now it's just there are the push and pull the third is glossary push and the fourth is stacks so in this session we will be covering in it list push and pull stacks and if we if we get some time then others also so let's start with zanata in it and if uh, if you want to know any of the i mean help of any of the commands you should issue this thing zanata init help so this will show all the parameters optional parameters which can be supplied to the command itself url username api key so actually you can provide url username api key everything in the command line itself if you does, if you don't have the project configuration so what is user and project configuration is yes. see uh, currently we have fast ac is my template that is a po file uh, second is translations folder template folder and then not okay so now let's start with init it will complain for user configuration file zanata ini is missing so let's create that You just need to copy paste this thing. Now we are good to go, and uh, once we issue this, uh, actually the default path for user configuration is in dot config at a, at your home folder. Otherwise, you can specify the path like user config. Then after that, I need. So now it will fetch all the uh, servers which are being listed in zanata dot init. First, it is find localhost thing. So which server do you want to use? Say one. Now uh, it will ask you like you want to create a new project or existing. Say existing. Then it will list down all the projects which which it found at the server demo or something. So let use that. Now. Version yes, version is an important part. Suppose you have created one project, you have one project at GitHub, and you have created the similar project at Zanata. So version can be created as per your need. It can be as per your release, or it can be as per your branches, or it is as per you, like how you manage your versions and all. So let's create a new version.
Now uh, we have an information here. Now we are working with project demo on version for Asia of type PODIR. So currently we have uh, taken the type as PODIR. Let's see. For base directory here templates. template okay so uh, we have given the source directory where we wish we are supposed to keep all our templates at and we have given the translated for I mean translation folder which the location at which all the translations which are being fetched from Janata server will be kept. So this will create our project configuration file Janata.xml. Let's cat it. So this is project configuration at minimal uh, XML thing, then URL, localhost slash Janata, something, your project description, demo. This is project ID. Uh, project ID which comes in URL as, as I mean URL also. This is version like for Asia. Uh, source directory template translation directory translations and everything now let's push something Something has happened. Uh,
sorry actually we need template files in the form of dot pod thing so that was the error and if we see at the server then we have one document as for shes here and uh, actually we can have all the translations written here itself so i have some translations with me right now so maybe i'll be pushing them as itself So now say translated and complete approved. So uh, once we said that in Zanata that it is translated and completed, then if you see at uh, our Python client as it starts. so it will show me the stats like there are three messages in that file uh, untranslated or three and one is translated for this is actually Now let's pull those file to our server, to our client. Sorry. So uh, here we can see that we have three folders in the name of HIM, MASG, MSSG and TASG. So these are the folders which, which have been created because our project type was VODIR. And uh, in MSSG if we look at this file, so currently it doesn't have translations because it is not yet completely saved I think. Oh sorry, actually I was translating Hindi actually. Uh, sorry, I, I, I just put translations in Hindi file so it, it appears here. That is why in a stats it was showing <coughs> it was showing for Hindi it is, is said that the untranslated is one and translated is one so and needs review is one just because we have not yet reviewed for the second string so sorry about the between thing uh, any questions so far in python clan actually for a templates thing it is scan for dot bot files so that i missed Okay, so I have one slide left with me. Uh, about code destruction and all. So setting up Python client is a breeze now. You can have your virtual environment active. 
and you can clone the project install requirements.dev is uh, currently we are maintaining two files requirements.txt and requirements requirements dev.txt so requirement dev.txt is the file which contains all the dependencies for test cases test cases and other so it is recommended for development environment and you can import our project in your python id code structure is like for configuration we are maintaining two files context and pass config pass config is for uh, passing everything i mean command line arguments plus the two file passes user config and project config context is the one uh, where we actually generate entire context for a given command as per the mode specified and in the commands we have all the commands do have their own file as of now zanata is the parent file zanata.py where all the doc strings are there which the help thing which is being popped up from doc, doc strings then command.py and zanata command command base.py these two files are basis for all the commands these are command line argument implementation and uh, push pull command push pull command push command and push pull command these two files do contain all the code for push and pull thing in it is for in it and for rest api we have many files the core core file is under rest folder the client and the config if you want to add support for any of the uh, rest api which is being exposed by zanata server newly so you 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 actually need to uh, enter the configuration in config file and then client file automatically fetch that configuration and make it available to all the commands i mean command at com command level and these are the dedicated service files like uh, doc is doc service glossary project stats and version service we keep i mean we keep all the services in different files just to have proper identification or just to have the uh, good approach so that we can enhance those services at service layer itself not at command implementation layer and some utilities we do use like public and util project util csv connector pass logger and error requirements are these two files if you have any of the bugs or anything then you can log it log them at bugzilla.radar.com or you can search using bug status as open component is an auto pattern plan new feature and bugs can be logged at uh, jira so this is jira link so you can go and have a look at these two links like what is happening and the bugs we are currently working on so these are two links you can contribute or get started with zanata python client using this info now uh, should you have any questions or anything you can anyways ping me at uh, free note at hash zanata my nick is s u n n so i'm done Can you share translations beyond the project? So between projects, or make uh, is there a pool of publicly available translations? Uh, actually, at Zanata server level, no. But yes, if if you have fetched some of the trans or pulled some of the translations from server to your client, and then you have some other project, you can merge those translated translations at client level, and then push that translation to server. So this way, you can do. Or you can create glossaries for them because glossaries are global thing. Thank you. So we're not we're not actually using Python client with OpenStack. Um, we had to switch back to the Java client. So I'm wondering oh. if there's feature parity yet because um, we we switched to the Java one because it was more actively developed. So you can speak to that. Uh, actually, yes, Java Java is much much stable than Python client, and uh, currently Python client I'm working on it. So it is my responsibility to. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you. Anything else? Anybody who is interested to contribute in this project? If you got some time, you can implement any of the APIs or you can enhance any of the features. So it is up to you. Currently, it only supports PO files, pod files, get text, and PO DIR. There is a plan to expand its support to Java files also, but let's see. I mean, 
that that's a plan so i think i'm over time so let's close